would you like to create a, a unique candle that will surprise everybody but you don't know how let me show you how I made this teacup candle and I decorated using just nail polish let's dive into it so these are the materials you're going to need and uh, I got this teacup and saucer from Big W here in, um, in Australia and I paid like $3.50 I think. So the first step as always is to clean your cup and saucer. Then I'm placing some white uh, paper sheets because I don't want to make a mess with my nail polish <laughs> on the table. So then you get a big bowl as I'm doing and you get a, um, like a, a bag, plastic bag and put it inside your bowl and this is because the nail polish can leave some residue and you don't want that or if you, if you don't mind you don't need to put the, the plastic bag and then you fill it up with some warm water that's important and then you get your nail polish and uh, you start puring the first one so I, I used the nail polish I already had at home. I was thinking to buy new ones, but I was like, no, let's use whatever I have. Because, you know, guys, my philosophy, I like to use whatever, you know, <laughs> I have available. So I put the, um, I use three colors. The first is the pink one. Then I have this light blue. And this is one, it's beautiful. It's like a bronze one. I was like, oh, I wasn't sure if they will, you know, go well together, but they actually did. I actually love them all together so now I'm taking a toothpick and I'm just creating uh, a design and the best part of this project is that no like no two things that you you do are gonna turn up the same if you know what I mean because you know the design will be always different so these are unique uh, pieces basically so now I'm ready to put my uh, the saucer into my water and leave it inside the water for some, I don't know, maybe five seconds or something and take it out. Turn it and do the other side. And then all around. So now I'm putting my uh, plate or salsa on, <laughs> on the paper sheet and you can see my hands were a mess. So guys, please wear some gloves. That's the, the first advice I have <laughs> for this project. Now I'm putting more nail polish for, the, for my teacup. And again, same colors. I love this project, it's so satisfying, I don't know, I really like it. <laughs> Bang it in a toothpick and just, you know, play around with the design. A little bit, you don't need to touch it too much. You can, of course, but yeah. Now I'm placing my teacup and look how beautiful. Turned out amazing in my opinion. I really like it. Now that's the moment when I realize okay I need to wear gloves. <laughs> so now I'm wearing my catwoman gloves. <laughs> and I'm putting more I decided to put more uh, nail polish because I wanna uh, and do the design because I my salsa wasn't uh, colorful enough if you can see at the in the front was yeah a little bit empty how do you say like too white for <laughs> for my liking so I put it back and remove the excess nail polish and I'm gonna do it later as well and look at my gloves but thank god now I've got my catwoman gloves <laughs> so here I'm letting my uh, 
plate and um, cup to dry and yes you can see it's important to put something at the at the bottom because it gets stuck like the paper got stuck a little bit as you can see but it's okay the design is not ruined and the good thing with this project is that you can use um, nail polish remover if you don't like the design and just clean it and start over or just remove you know some parts i didn't do that because i didn't have it at home but you if you have it or if you want to buy you can do that so now my i let it dry them i think overnight to be honest and um, i decided to seal them with my fantastic mod posh and i'm using the the gloss mod posh uh, because that's what i have <laughs> at home and uh, but if you use the um, i always say this but uh, i'll say it again if you use the um, dishwasher uh, dishwasher safe no dishwasher mod podge something like that yeah <laughs> uh, after 28 days of curing it you can actually put your you know plate and teacup in the in the dishwasher you know that's what it's called dishwasher <laughs> mod podge but yeah so with this one no because it's not waterproof but with the other one yes yeah, so i think that's really cool but both of them need to cure 28 days so now I'm just, uh, you know, painting <laughs> my Mod Podge first on the sofa and then on my cup. And guys, if you're new to my channel, hello. If you're new, not new, well, thank you so much for being here. You're the best. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> but if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment, let me know where you're from and uh, yeah i hope you stick around because i post videos like this every week so here are already melted uh, to as you can see two colored waxes and for this project i use like some wax that i already had um, so i melted again my wax and then let it um, solidify a little bit solidify a little bit I always get this word wrong <laughs> and then I did a, I use my um, hand mixer to just uh, whip my wax to make a all um, nice and fluffy and this is the, the pink one and now I'm getting my blue wax and I'm whipping the the blue wax as well As you can see, the the, the I show you the difference. The pink one is very soft, and the other one is harder. So now I'm putting my the tip into my uh, piping bag to do the you know the whipped cream. And for this project, I use, I'm using some clear wrap, and you're gonna see shortly why. <laughs> But here I realized that I waited too long and my blue um, wax got too hard. So, but that's not an issue. You, you just, you know, whip it again and, you know, it gets softer again. So I'm putting first the, the blue wax on my clear wrap, which you can see is much harder than the, the pink one. The pink one is much softer. And the blue, one, the blue one is actually a soy wax and the pink one is a paraffin which is much softer, the paraffin I'm using. And now, um, yes, how do you say, wrap them, those waxes, like around in the clear wrap. Because what I wanted to do, and you'll see, I wanted to kind of match the color of the nail polish. So, you know, there's some blue, there's some pink. I didn't have the bronze wax. And uh, that's why I put them together. So now what you do, you just cut the clear wrap and then put the, 
the wrap into the um, the piping bag and squeeze the wax out cut the top part and uh, yes always try on a, on a spoon if you like you know how it comes out and I liked it and so now I'm showing you how it turned out I really like it. I think it was like a very beautiful color because it was you know you can here you can clearly see the difference Ah, here my sorry my tip got stuck because the blue wax as I said is was hard too hard so if this happened to you just take a something like a metal rod that I have something you know of that sort and just clean it because it can get stuck and uh, yeah but I was saying I think here it looks nice because the blue and the pink they are you know you can see both of them they that blending a little bit but yes this is the moment where everything changed boom <laughs> yeah so basically I had an explosion guys <laughs> as you can see and um, yeah I need to I had to uh, say act fast because this is wax so you know guys you don't have a lot of time like you were you know baking a cake or making I don't know soap or something because wax gets hard of course <laughs> so you need to act fast and so what I did basically I squeeze out all my wax into another piping bag and uh, yeah clean up my my tip and reuse it in the new piping bag So the like the issue that I th the, that I had basically is that as you can see now in this new piping bag the two color uh, blended a lot. So now I'm putting the tip. Um, yeah, I always forget to wear my gloves even here. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I made a mess. Candle make it, creative candle make is very messy, guys. <laughs> so yeah, use gloves again. <laughs> I have to remind, remind myself to use gloves. Anyways, so as you're gonna see now, I, I clean my yeah, cap, that's important before you continue, but be fast again. And um, you know, the color here, very nice, but at the top, as you can see, the two colors, the, the blue and the pink, blended, and so it came out purple. <laughs> Basically, the explosion was. Uh, uh, Causes these like to, for the two colors to, to blend basically, but that's all right. I still like it. I'm showing you the design there. I really like this um, this little fun project. Now here I'm putting some sugar sprinkles, and these they I think they went really nice with the with the colors of my nail polish because they were were white and and bronze. So I'm putting some on top. Here I'm uh, curling my my wig because I like the design, and I'm putting on my sosa, and yeah, that's the final candle, guys. A little bit different than you know what I was I wanted to do basically my initial project, but I still like it. And remember, I always go with the flow. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next project. Ciao, guys!